Hey guys, Nick here from Click and Droid again, and today I'm going to be making a different kind of video. Today's a video for all the people that are new to rooting and the Motorola Click. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining a little bit about rooting and what it does. So to start off with, rooting is basically the process of opening your file system to allow you to access the root directory. If that's not English to you, basically you have access to the system files. When you have access to the system files, you can do things such as flash custom operating systems, or known as ROMs, or you can install rooted apps. So today I'm going to be going over all those different things. So let's start with custom ROMs. Basically what a custom ROM is, is a just a different operating system. Sometimes custom ROMs have custom applications, custom UIs, maybe even flash. For example, Handler Exploits ROMs come with the ability to use the FM radio and has flash light. So what you're seeing right here is the recovery image. Basically, this flashes all your custom ROMs. From this screen, you could back up, restore, and flash new ROMs. There's only about three different ROMs in the Click community, but sometime in the future, I expect there to be a lot more out when we get to more developers and when 2.1 comes out. So now you know the basis of rooting, I'm going to show you a few apps that you can have when you root. So first thing you'll notice is that my home screen looks a little bit different. The launcher icons down there have changed, and the icons on my home screen, browser, and market have changed. This is because I've themed the phone with an app called Metamorph. Metamorph basically lets you change icons, or you could change your drop down bar, or you could change the launcher as you see there, into different images. So say I wanted to make my phone look like a hero, there's hero themes out there that you can change to. There's many different themes on different forums that you could download and mod your phone with. Another thing you could do when you have a rooted phone is you can overclock. So I'm going to show you an app here called SetCPU. It's available on the market. Just search SetCPU. As you see right here, my CPU is set to run at 528MHz all the time, which is the maximum amount of speed that the click can run. Currently, there's no way to overclock your phone, you can only underclock it. The reason you want to underclock it is to save battery. So let's say I only had about 30% battery left, well I'd want to underclock it because I'm not using it that much. So I just drag the bar down here, and there you go, my CPU will always be running at 245 MHz. Now this will slow your phone down a bit, but you'll be able to save battery and your phone will last a lot longer. Another thing you can do with Root is take screenshots. Yeah, I know, you can take a screenshot with ADB, but it's just a lot easier to take a screenshot right from your phone and upload it somewhere. So to take a screenshot, you just search in the market for an app named ShootMe. When you launch it, you'll be presented with the screen to accept their terms of service, and you click Accept, and then you hide it. So to take a screenshot, you just shake the phone, and you hear that sound, and it took a screenshot. So your screenshots go automatically into your gallery, And as you see right there, I just took a screenshot of my home screen. It's that easy when you have root. Another app out there that's really cool that requires root is Wireless Tether. So this app basically lets you tether your phone's 3G or edge connection to your laptop or mobile device. It's simple. You just tap on the little arrow and it will start. This is really useful for if you're on a bus and you want to tether to your laptop or if you're in school and you need to go on a blocked website. I've used it many times and I can say that it's worth the rooting to have this app. Also with wireless tether, it allows you to tether through Bluetooth or you can turn your phone into a hotspot. So it'll be like a mobile broadband router in your hand. Another app out there that is good when you're rooted is Auto Memory Manager. Auto Memory Manager allows you to automatically kill processes when you end them. This is basically like a smart task manager. Let's say you're in a Twitter app and you want to go to the browser and you're done with the Twitter app. So you close the Twitter app and you launch the browser. Well, on a regular Android device without root, the Twitter app will still be running in the background. But with Auto Memory Manager, it will automatically kill that Twitter app that's running in the background and will give you more memory to use the browser. Not only will this give you more memory, but it will also make your phone last longer because there will be less applications running in the background. 
So those are just a few things you can do with Root. There's many more things out there, such as receiving Bluetooth files and everything. Just search the market for Root apps and you'll find a bunch of them. Now there are some disadvantages to rooting, one being it voids your warranty. Now I don't recommend rooting for computer illiterate users, because rooting requires a little bit of research. If you're not willing to do the research, don't root your phone. As I said before, yes it does void your warranty, but you can always restore back. There are a few things that might not make you want to root, like breaking your phone by accident, but if the process is done right, there will be no problems. So that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at ClickAndroid. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.